Humanist wedding is a non-religious ceremony, but of course we welcome people of all faiths, or of none, as we unite to share in something which is universally joyful, a celebration of love. Yes, we are here to celebrate love today. In fact, I know that Mark is quite an old romantic at heart, and he was keen to reflect this in the ceremony. Jacob, however, <laughs> practically came out in a rash when we started talking about the lovey-dovey side of wedding planning. So I'm under strict instructions to make sure that this ceremony passes his anti-cringe brief. I love you for how you made me believe in a positive future again, and that things will be better and brighter together. I love how you lift my heart, especially after a tough day. With your support, your cheeky smile, and the love in your eyes, it all pales into insignificance. You make me smile a lot and laugh. Uh, I can be totally myself around you. You have never asked me to change or to pretend to be someone else. I love the way you look at me, just right now. <laughs> That's exactly it. Even though you are the nicest guy ever, you are still able to put your foot down and get what you want. <laughs> Just look around. <laughs> Finding themselves with an afternoon to spare in the city of love, Luton, <laughs> they decided to go Pokemon hunting. <laughs> and just when you think they've achieved peak weirdness, they head to the cinema to watch Ab Fab the movie. <laughs> so many dating rules were broken that day. We've come to the central part of this ceremony, where Mark and Jacob will express in words they have chosen their commitment to each other and the values and qualities that they believe will be essential to the success of their marriage. I give this ring. I give this ring. As an outward expression. As an outward expression. Of my love and commitment to you. Of my love and commitment to you. <laughs> He's yours. <laughs> it gives me enormous pleasure to pronounce you husband and husband. You may kiss the groom.